And taking the tip for Georgia Southern, Carlos Curry against Tafari Gapari. And it's belonged to the Yellow Jackets. Going to work against Harris. Short. Kelly again, and finally, he knocks it down. The Jackets missed their first five shots, but Miles their Kelly, leading scorer from a year ago, puts up the first bucket. Ted will out to Curry, who lets it fly, and he switches it. Carlos Curry, that's one more three point. Bryant looking to go baseline. Reeves closes it off. Cross court pass. And Tyron Moore buries Georgia Southern's second three. That's Debo Coleman has just checked in for the first time tonight. Another returner for the Yellow Jackets, one of four on scholarship. And he triggers a three, burying it. Slumping from shooting from the perimeter. Get a couple easy baskets. Get to the free throw line. And that turns the momentum, gets the confidence going. Jamar Franklin reversing and laying it in. The transfer from South Alabama. But everyone on this team six foot three or taller. So there is some good size, some good length in that, you know, six foot six to six foot nine range. Three pointer. Abrams drains it. But that's okay. That's two consecutive stops defensively into easy transition offensive looks. That's the trend you want to see if you're Coach Stoudemire. Moore gets his man in the air and takes it to the basket. He wanted contact, but he's got a bucket. Tied at 12. Sturdivant, three-pointer off the bounce. And got his feet set, rocked the defense back, got him on their heels, and then knocked it down. High percentage three from the top of the key for Sturdivant. Looking for an answer, Brian, a chance for a four-point play. Defensively, was like, hey, is he really going to pull this? You know, not a lot of scouting report and film out yet, and bam. Three-pointer a moment ago. And it's ripped away. Gapari, Eurostep, and to Tafara Gapari. And then player development, Bonzi Wells, former NBA player, Nate Babcock, G League assistant coach, Hawks player development coach. So he's got a great staff to develop these guys. Uh, he's doing great things around the city. He's got a Mayor's Midnight Basketball League going on with City of Atlanta Parks and Rec. So big time hoop fan. Mayor Andre Dickens out supporting the Jackets. Tech just five of 20 from the floor so far tonight. They started one of 10 though. And Duana gets the block that time. You know, but energy, effort, and length can negate a lot of mistakes. And on both sides, both teams right now playing with high energy, high effort. Bryant just inside the free throw line. Bryant's now got six, leads all scores. Kelly, a little no look, corner, Reeves hits it. On the rope, right to the corner. Great assist on that possession, unselfish play. It's now four threes for Tech. Kelly looking to run, taking on Bryant, puts a move on him, and rolls it off the fingertips. Yeah, Carl Hobbs, associate head coach, longtime head coach at George Washington University. And what a move that time! And a little too small there. The loose ball, he wants to run. No look, feed to Kapari. Has it ripped away by Tyron Moore, and Bradford's got it. Moore gets his man in the air. Oh, that was cold. Yellow Jackets have left seven points at the free throw line, the eight of 15. A lot of those misses coming early, you know, new season jitters. Great move from Clyde in the two hand jam. Franklin in the lane and right over the fingertips of Ty Jean Claude. Nice touch from Jamar Franklin. He's come alive the last couple of minutes. Deuce Dean's a guy at Hampton, 461 career assists, 1,000 plus point scorer. And then Eugene Brown, probably the best player off the bench for the Buckeyes over the last couple of seasons. And Carlos. Uh, concerted effort to go right inside to his big man and get a high percentage shot. Kelly's three pointer down the drain. Kelly. As we said, was Tech's top scorer a year ago, shot 38% from three, and now a turnover. Kowasi Reeves lays it in. And uh, definitely at his best in transition. Three-point try, one dribble, and Jamar Franklin hits it. And the nerves we saw in those first couple of minutes, John. And Claude with the rebound. 
That's six boards for Claude now. <laughs> Tafara Gapari went way up and he comes up lame. I think he caught a cramp in his calf. He's grabbing at the calf, not the ankle. And Avante Parker is on the board, the freshman stud for Georgia Southern. It looked like just a cramp, the mm -hmm. way he landed on it. Yeah, grabbing that left that half. Hurts. That it hurts. Does. <laughs> that'll, that'll stop you in your tracks. Reeves swirls in another one. Another three-pointer for the Yellow Jackets. But the ability to spend time watching film and learning is those two positions can really help. And Amari Abram, a scoop, and the putback from Claude. He's a tough matchup. If he's got a guy with slower feet, he can face up, put it on the ground, attack the boards. Here we go, almost transition by the Jackets. Bryant, short. Offensive rebound with the right hand. That time, it's Malik Tidwell. And that will be his second personal foul. Bradford lays it in. And Georgia Tech's now doubled up free throw attempts. They've been to the line 22 times, as opposed to the Eagles' 11 attempts. And Tafara Gapari. Right Five to shoot. Franklin, Southern's leading scorer, has got two more. Again, knifing his way. So the Eagles out of the break. It's Avante Parker, the freshman who hit 28 in their exhibition. Just two points tonight. He's got a couple more. Lob entry, cross court, the extra pass to Coleman. He drains it. Debo Coleman. A couple of their bench players, Colin Cool, the freshman out there down in the post. This here is Cam Bryant. He's playing with three and he lays it in. Nice bounce pass. The Jackets whip it around. It's Sturdivant. And he connects. You know, the last eight games of last season, a lot of people forget he averaged 13 points and six assists in those final eight games. Best stretch of his tech career. Coleman got it. Oh, that was pure. Uh, you know, the little things like that, the camaraderie. Uh, I love that Debo pointed to his point guard after making the three and getting the assist. It's now five threes on nine shots for Georgia Tech in this half. And Colin Cool. The Jackets have six seconds to shoot here out of the inbounds pass. Kelly lets it fly, and he gets it. Georgia Tech had eight turnovers in the first half. They've done a marginally better job taking care of the basketball here in the second, and there's a turnover forced by Tech. Sturdivant, and Debo Coleman with the hammer. Georgia Tech getting the spark off the bench, and that's a spark right there. The Debo with the exclamation point on that one. He got up. And for the first time tonight, we've got a double-digit lead. Three-pointer, and Georgia Southern needed that. He's two for two tonight. I think I know what he was doing this summer. Yeah, absolutely. Four rebounds, nine points to go with. He's been straddled on the bench with four personals. That was a big, big action. Smiles, Kelly matches. Tech up 11. Tidwell muscling his way. He's a born scorer. 5'11", but averaged 21 points last year. This is his first ever Division I game. No problem scoring in the second half. Kowasi Reeves, he's in on the party. Another triple, and it is rolling. Georgia Southern needs a run. Tyron Moore trying to give it to him. That's a start. Kelly down the lane. What a move, Miles Kelly. And a turnover, Reeves. The Yellow Jackets out and running. Coleman lays it in. Trying to milk a little bit of clock here, perhaps, as we get into the final minutes. Kelly, that's been his spot, and it will continue to be. But that's going to be a huge part of this team's offensive game plan, and quite plainly, if they don't shoot it well, they're not going to have the success they want this season. But, you know, that's going to be a, a market change. If you've watched Georgia Tech basketball the last five years, you're going to see a, a much deeper rotation. Miles Kelly finishing opening night in style. More than a successful debut. Sturdivant. He found that shooting stroke at the end of last season, John. It looks like it survived the offseason. 
The Yellow Jackets have won five of their last eight season openers, seven straight against in-state opponents, and most importantly, the Damon Stoudemire era begins with a W.